with the laser, how to set them up, and there is a stamp wizard. Right? But in my personal time here with Gravel, Gravel Graph, you don't really ever want to use the wizard. The wizard has a lot of unnecessary things that it makes you go through. What they did with Gravel Style 7 and, and the previous version of Gravel Style is they have presets already done up on them. So I will show you how to get to those. All right. So if your stamp's square, you're already going to set up your material definition to whatever size stamp you're trying to actually create. So in this instance, let's say we have a 2 by 2 stamp. Again, we're not going to do any margins because stamps pretty much never have the margin on them. If you've noticed them, they're just rubberized all the way to the edge. So we've got a 2 by 2 square stamp. Let's say that we want the word test in there as our stamp. All right, on our marking screen. All right, so again, just to recap, we did a two by two square stamp with no margins. See how stamp is always deselected? Once you engage this and select this, this is automatically preset to change the parameters of how the engraving is done. When you have this selected, what this does already is it takes whatever the outside border is and it says from the outside border to the next boundary I will engrave all of that out and that is what's essential to making the stamp is you're gonna have all of this outside white lasered off and the TEST will stand raised above the rest of the rubber so you can stamp it and mark it that's why this marking screen is already preset to do that if the colors are not matching, all right, in the stamp it automatically changes this down here, but let's say that you wanted to do it manually, typically on a rubberized stamp with a 40 watt laser, 30 to 40 watt, you're going to have 80 speed and 50% power. So you'd have 80 speed, 50% powder. That's how you do a standard square stamp. If you have a circle stamp, a lot of people say, well, how can I do it with a circle? Because I have to create these boundaries. You're going to come over here, select your circle, go ahead and draw your circle however you want it. Resize it to however you'd like. Go ahead and as you saw the circle was completely blackened, it's because the laser color has it filled. So in this instance we're going to do outline. We took it off of fill, we changed it to outline. If it is a circle, the most important thing is you're already going to know the size of the circle. So you say, well Tom, how can I get my circle to know, how do I know it's going to be the exact same size? What you do is when you grab the corners and you start to move, you can press F2. After you start to move it and you press F2, the scaling module comes up. Again, that's F2. So if you're writing it down, F2 for the scaling module. You're going to, the width is the diameter. So if I have a 3 inch diameter circle, I'm going to change it to 3 inches. Do my circle, which would make sense. Because here's, this is simply just 2 inches. So it's kept, you're keeping it in the boundary. Now the most important part about this, these are not together. So if you were to just choose the stamp right now, the stamp would only cut out this. It would cut this out and leave this entire section, which is not what you want. Your stamp is a circle. So it's essential that you highlight your circle, hold down your control button, and select your test as well. As you can see now, everything's red. It's showing you it's selected. And you're going to go ahead and group your object together. Now what that's going to do is you've got, it will, it will laser this out now. And again, if you're having trouble 
with the boundaries, if you're having trouble setting it up and it's not lasering out the correct thing, just give us a call. We can log on or walk you simply through what could be happening with it. Because a lot of times, again, with what Tim just showed you, there are some simple references and simple settings that have gone, can get corrupt and will not allow you to do what you're trying to do, even in something as simple as this. So if you, if you try it once and you have trouble, don't continue to try it causing yourself a headache. Give us a call. We'll log on. We'll walk you right through whatever you need, okay?